Come journey along with me on this adventure to the Northwest Territories, up in northern Canada, a land of mystical beauty, warm and inviting people. In July of 2019, I met Alan and John from Cessna's demo flight team, along with this incredible airplane up in Regina, Saskatchewan. From there, we ventured north into a seemingly endless horizon of lakes and rivers. I had been to Yellowknife before, but only in winter. Seeing the territories for the first time in summer, so abundant of life and water and green, what a fascinating sight to behold. We were headed for Yellowknife, up on the northern shores of the Great Slave Lake, for the Midnight Sun Splash In, hosted at Amak Air. Steve and his team were so gracious to everyone who attended. And like most any aviation event, we would soon be making new friendships and telling tall tales. You can see Pilot Hill here off our right wing as we pass over Old Yellowknife out on the peninsula, along with Red Kodiak tied up at Amex Dock. This was our first time flying into the back bay waters of the seaplane base at Yellowknife. So even though we had looked at Google Earth, talked to the locals, carefully planned the approach, taking a conservative approach to fly over without necessarily committing to land is always a safe option when flying float planes into unfamiliar waters. Although there's lots of open water here, John decided to go around and come in for a second approach, now that he was more comfortable with the lay of the land. Look, pilots can be cocky at times, and pilots can be critical of one another, so keeping a cool head to make a decision like this Knowing full well the onlooking crowd at the dock will be discussing and critiquing your technique, I mean you have to put that out of your mind. It's much easier to sit around the campfire later that evening over a cold beer and discuss how things could have been done differently. So a good PIC can't let that cloud their judgment. The wind coming in from the north here made for some bumpy air as it tumbled over the hills up on the north side of the lake. John did a good job of getting us comfortably down on the water. It doesn't take long to make friends in the aviation community, and especially when you show up with a plane like this. And well, they don't call it the midnight sun splash in for no reason. These pictures were from around 10 o'clock at night where the sun seemingly was suspended over the horizon, rather than quickly settling right when we're used to in the lower latitudes. Well, they're both coming together. Saturday morning, Joe McBrien, from the famed Buffalo Airways in Yellowknife and Hay River, along with Warren Wright from up in Norman Wells, gave us all some thrills and music with the round engine sounds. Rides in Joe's 1946 C-46 Norseman, powered by a Pratt & Whitney R-1340 Wasp, and Warren's 1929 Belanca Peacemaker, powered by a 450 horsepower Wright Rowan 975, were an opportunity to relive a piece of history. Listen as the 1340 idols, such a beautiful rumble.
completing a pre-takeoff run-up checklist in a float plane requires a bit of planning as you don't have brakes on the water. You're moving the entire time. Loud and clear. Yep. Sorry I didn't capture the takeoff and ride. Sometimes you just have to put your camera down, live in the moment, soak it in, and enjoy the ride. After the weekend splashing was over, with several new friendships made, it was time to head out to No Natural Lake to meet my dear friends Miles and Lisa Carter, who hope to someday have a plane like this to serve their guests at the fishing lodge. Miles' brother Dean and our mutual friend Alex joined us, and Dean took the controls and showed us how a true northerner flies, and gave us a great guided tour on the way out to the lodge. No Natural Lake, nearly undisturbed by modern life, has only the few cabins at the Carter's fishing camp along the shores of the lake. This lake has a mystic kind of beauty unlike any other I've experienced. A serenity, a peacefulness, a place to go and restore your soul. Merlin Carter, father of Miles and Dean, and a bush pilot legend from the north, was killed by a bear here on the island at Nonacho Lake. Miles took us to see the memorial he had built for his father. Truly an intimate place. Miles got to try his hand at the Grand Caravan EX and took us over to Hay River from the lake for a supply run. Perfect opportunity to test out the big amphibian's capabilities. Enjoy the scenic flight over Nonacho Lake as Miles flies us back to the fishing camp from Hay River. The lodge about 180 nautical miles from the nearest road brings you to an isolated place. No electricity, no signs of modern intrusion in your life, just natural beauty everywhere you look.
caught many beautiful lake trout in the 7 to 10 pound range, but Alan took home the trophy with this monster the morning before we departed. What an incredible fish. And what gracious hosts.